We are looking for the least problematic modifications of this model, produced from 2008 to 2015. She has several sores that can hurt her pocket after the purchase. The GLK is the first compact SUV branded by Mercedes-Benz. It was assembled in Bremen, and about 540,000 copies were produced in seven years. The GLK is built on the basis of the previous generation C-Class station wagon, S204. Hence the factory index, X204. The GLK uses basically the same components and assemblies as the W204-S204 models, so in matters of reliability and operational nuances, you can safely rely on the experience gained in communicating with its progenitors. The GLK was officially delivered to Russia exclusively in all-wheel drive and with an automatic transmission. It has gained popularity and has a fairly high liquidity in the secondary market. On the GLK of the first years of production, there may be problems with the power fuse box located under the hood. It jams the built-in quiescent current shutdown relay. When the car goes into sleep mode, the relay cuts off power to unnecessary consumers and does not resume supply when the engine is started. The engine runs, but the entire instrument panel lights up with fault lamps, and the car cannot move. The fuse block is non-separable, its replacement will cost 15,000 rubles. On more recent cars, a modernized unit is installed that does not suffer from this disease. Pre-styling GLKs were marked by headlight melting. The exact cause of this trouble is unknown. Servicemen suggest that due to poor contact on the marker lamp, the section is strongly heated, as a result of which its reflector is melted. The manufacturer fixed the bug when updating in 2012. Radiators do not get dirty very quickly, but it is important to monitor their condition. Worst of all tolerates overheating automatic transmission. It is advisable to flush the radiators every 60,000 kilometers. Closer to 100,000 kilometers, the front gear oil seals begin to leak. Oil renewal in the assembly is carried out in conjunction with the replacement of cuffs. The rear gearbox does not leak. Front shock absorbers are enough for an average of 100,000 kilometers. It makes sense to update the thrust bearings at the same time as replacing them. Steering problems on the GLK are extremely rare. This applies to both rails and rods with tips. Trailing arm silent blocks die after 60,000 to 80,000 kilometers. Fortunately, they are available as separate parts. Unlike the S204-W204 progenitor, the GLK uses wheel bearings in the front suspension that do not require adjustment. Previously, ignoring the need to carry out this operation at every maintenance led to costly repairs. The resource of silent blocks of the front beam support is 60,000 to 80,000 kilometers. They can be replaced separately. Otherwise, the GLK's rear suspension is solid and hassle-free. For cars of the first years of production, the electronic steering lock is faulty. In case of failure, internal electrical defect, it is impossible to turn on the ignition, although the key turns the lock freely. The blocker is an element of the immobilizer system, so it can only be ordered from an authorized dealer. On pre-reformed GLKs, by about 100,000 kilometers, noticeable cracks appear on the left roller of the driver's seat cushion. When examining a used car, this feature will help to identify the fact of twisting mileage. Visually, the quality of the leatherette upholstery material on the restyled models has not become noticeably better, but there are no cracks. Diesel 2.1, 170 and 204 horsepower of the OM651 series is widely known for Mercedes-Benz commercial models and has proven itself well. Two of its turbines, sequentially entering into operation, are combined in one housing. The change in engine power is achieved by a software method. The OM651 rarely needs any major repairs. Of the common source, only a leak of the cooling system pump can be noted, which occurs closer to 100,000 kilometers. Piezo injectors are very demanding on the quality of fuel, and this is what determines their resource. In our conditions, they usually go no more than 100,000 kilometers. When one of the piezo injectors is worn out, servicemen prefer to change them as a set. It is noteworthy that for the first releases of GLK, the manufacturer himself offered repair kits for injectors. Diesel V6 3.0, 224 and 231 horsepower of the OM642 family has a serious design miscalculation. After about 70,000 kilometers, due to oil starvation, seizures of the crankshaft occur, sometimes it even bursts. One of the reasons is that the oil heat exchanger immediately after the pump is clogged. Assuming that the cause of the leak was the wear of the gaskets, 
the servicemen limit themselves to replacing them, and soon the motor starts knocking, and then goes for a major overhaul. Only the crankshaft and its liners, the bottom of the engine, suffer from oil starvation, while the rest of the parts remain undamaged. Often, when repairing, the masters do not even change the piston rings, since their wear is minimum. Another cause of oil starvation is leaking fuel injectors. Diesel fuel from the cylinders enters the crankcase, and there is an accelerated degradation of the oil. Therefore, it is extremely important to monitor the condition of the fuel system and change the oil at least every 10,000 kilometers. The timing chain on diesel engines is massive and reliable. However, when repairing the OM642 motor, it is better to replace it. The 2.0 petrol turbo engine, 184 and 211 horsepower, of the M274 series appeared with an update in 2012. Different power is obtained by changing the control program. Sleeves are installed in the block, and there are no complaints about the reliability of the cylinder piston group. However, an unexpected and ridiculous soar happens. After 40,000 kilometers, the plates on the camshafts, on which the position sensors work, are possible to shift, and an error code lights up, reporting a phase mismatch. The problem is solved only by replacing the shaft assembly. The sensor plate is fixed with the shrink fit without keys. Attempts to put it in the correct position and fix it give only a temporary effect. Presumably, the turning of the plate occurs in the modes of high thermal loads. In the timing mechanism, a new type of chain, hardened, black, is installed, which practically does not wear out and does not grind the teeth on the shaft sprockets. Phase shifters usually die after 100,000 kilometers, making a characteristic crack in the first seconds after starting a cold engine. The stop of the advance mechanism falls apart inside them. Turbines on gasoline and diesel engines live a very long time and rarely fail. Atmospheric V6 gasoline engines of the M272 family, 3.0, 231 horsepower, and 3.5, 249 and 272 horsepower, are considered problematic. Their characteristic soar is scuffing on the cylinders and pistons, appearing at about 100,000 kilometers. They arise due to the fact that the active mass of the neutralizer crumbles and is pulled into the cylinders. When the critical wear of the cylinder piston group is reached, the engine starts knocking. After repairing or replacing the motor, it is imperative to replace the converter. On the M272, the timing chain does not last long. Its resource directly depends on the driving style, but on average it lengthens excessively after 60,000 to 70,000 kilometers. If you postpone the replacement for a long time, the stretch chain will quickly kill the teeth of the sprockets on the camshafts, and they are assembled with phase shifters, replacing all the affected elements will hit your pocket hard. Hinge belts and rollers run an average of 60,000 kilometers. This applies to all motors. Surprisingly, mass airflow sensors die early on Mercedes-Benz gasoline engines. Their replacement at 80,000 to 100,000 kilometers is a common occurrence. A shortened engine air filter replacement interval slightly extends their life. The atmospheric V6 3.5 engine of the M276 series, 306 horsepower, is the most reliable of the GLK gasoline engines. A block with cast iron liners has no problems with the cylinder piston group and rarely requires repair. Like other Mercedes engines, the M276 3.5 has a short timing chain and phase shifters. The life of the chain is affected by the driving style, but on average it runs about 100,000 kilometers. When it is replaced, the phase shifters are also updated at the same time, so as not to open the drive again in the near future. Since 2012, a modernized black hardened chain has been installed on this motor, so the problem with its short resource is gone. But the clutches remain the same, unreliable. The fuel injectors of all gasoline engines are sensitive to fuel quality. It happens that they need resuscitation or replacement after 30,000 kilometers. And for carrying owners, they go 200,000 kilometers each. As before, on almost all Mercedes-Benz gasoline units, the oil filter module begins to leak over time. Sooner or later, his body warps and the gasket gives slack. There is only one way out, replacing the module assembly. The 7-speed automatic 7G Tronic MB722.9 and the transfer case form a single unit with a common crankcase. Alas, this couple was marked by extremely unpleasant and expensive breakdowns. In the transfer case, the output axle to the front gearbox suffers. Due to design features, one of its three bearings had to be greatly reduced in size. As a result, 
it is he who cannot cope with the loads and surrenders to about 100,000 kilometers. The trouble is that the bearing is not available as a separate original item. In order not to change the machine and Rizdatka assembly, unofficial services use replacement parts. The life of a weak link is extended by a routine oil change in a dual unit every 60,000 kilometers. The wear products of the clutches of the machine that get into the oil significantly reduce the life of the bearing. By about 100,000 kilometers, the crosspiece built into the aforementioned axle also wears out, a significant play appears in it. The manufacturer offers to replace the machine and dispenser assembly, and this is about 500,000 rubles. Separately, it is impossible to change the crosspiece structurally, and the axle is not available as a separate spare part, even as an assembly. Fortunately, unofficials always have second-hand elements in good condition. Against this background, the leakage of the oil seal of the transfer case from the side of the weak axis no longer seems to be a big problem. The original cuff is available for order. The leak appears again after the notorious 100,000 kilometers of run, but is not associated with the wear of a weak bearing on the axle. The sores of the machine are well known from other Mercedes-Benz models. At any run, the control board and the valve block located in the sump may burn out. According to the experience of servicemen, this happens more often in winter. And in addition to the theory about the burnout of the board elements due to the deposition of metal dust, there is a version that explains the problem by the temperature difference in the winter. The machine is very sensitive to overheating and requires a mandatory routine oil change every 60,000 kilometers. In addition, cases of mechanical wear of the mounting surfaces of the solenoids in the valve body are common. This usually happens after 100,000 kilometers. Even specialized services prefer not to repair the valve body. But to replace it. Recovery attempts are often unsuccessful. The Mercedes-Benz GLK has good liquidity in the secondary market, but it is noticeably inferior in terms of consumer qualities to its direct competitor, the BMW X3. The risk of running into fraudulent ads is small, but the hijackers look at the car. This is primarily due to the high cost of spare parts. The AMG package increases interest in every Mercedes, cars find a buyer much faster and you can safely inflate the price by 30,000 to 50,000 rubles. The version with the four-cylinder diesel 2.1 enjoys the greatest success. The demand for cars with top-end engines is very small. Some buyers prefer the 3.0 petrol engine. As a rule, this is due to prejudices regarding powerful diesel engines and the preferences of the target audience. Usually the GLK is bought as a second car in the family, so the most power-armed versions are bypassed. I recommend the GLK with the 2.1 diesel. Such cars have decent dynamics combined with low fuel consumption, as well as maximum liquidity and fairly high reliability compared to other GLK modifications, plus a humane transport tax rate. When choosing a machine belonging to a similar segment, I advise you to seek help from professional pickers. The cost of their services is low, and the tips of specialists will save you from buying a car with serious problems the elimination of which will cost a pretty penny. Total. Mercedes-Benz GLK was marked by serious and costly malfunctions. Moreover, these are for the most part offensive and sometimes ridiculous mistakes with the most critical elements, engines and gearboxes. However, among all the modifications there are a couple of relatively friendly options. If you take care of maintenance and operation, do not ignore fault indications and do not delay repairs then the maintenance of the machine will not be too burdensome compared to its closest competitors.